Now new at five, a city on the rise. That was the title of Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland's State of the City Address. WRG's Jordan James is live with the recap of the problems the mayor spoke about and what he hopes to accomplish this year. Hey, Stephanie and Greg, the mayor acknowledged the challenges that the city is facing, but also said he firmly believes it's going to take everyone joining forces so that this city, it can reach its full potential. I have to say it's been a long two years. Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland appearing before a packed crowd in East Memphis for a state of the city address. The focus of his message, the economy and crime. Just like you, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired of watching it on the news every night, and I'm tired about reading it in the paper every morning. Memphis has gone back to back years with records for homicides. Also, aggravated assaults are up. As a result, the mayor believes it's important for MPD to get fully staffed, and the city offers competitive wages. These trends are happening in cities large and small across the country, but that fact brings no solace to those who are forced to deal with the pain that violent crime brings with, brings with it. The mayor highlighted MPD's Scorpion unit, which targets violent offenders across the region. Newly released data shows that they have made 566 arrests since October and seized hundreds of weapons and vehicles. Despite the success, he says it's gonna take everyone to address the city's crime issues. It takes all of us, state and local officials, families, neighborhoods, churches, businesses. At the height of the pandemic, roughly 46,000 Memphians were unemployed. Since then, Strickland says they have made major progress. With 33 construction projects announced across the area last year, opportunities will soon await Memphians. While we certainly have our challenges, I believe the future of Memphis is brighter now than it has ever been. And I look forward to a strong year in 2022. You can find Mayor Strickland's full address on our website at WREG.com. Reporting here live downtown, Jordan James, WREG News Channel 3.